You might be older than you think. That's according to researchers who say a person's biological age can differ from the chronological age determined by their date of birth. Joining us live for more on this is Ella Tien, a postdoc research fellow at the University of Melbourne. Ella, appreciate your time. Thank you. What do we mean by that? How do you actually determine someone's biological age? What parts of the body are you looking at here? Yeah, so the idea of biological age is the, the age calculated based on a person's um, like the health and functional status of their organ systems. For example, we can calculate a person's brain age based on their brain scans that commonly um, can be acquired from the radiology um, clinics. And also similarly for the kidneys and lungs age can be measured using some of the arrays or biomarkers um, it can be extracted from blood samples whereas the age of the lungs can be easily measured using spirometric tests, for example. So what we find is that um, the idea is that a healthy and a fit 50-year-old, they might have lungs functioning like a 40 years old. In contrast, a 30-year-old may have their lung functions um, like a 40-year-old. Okay, so it's good to hear that you can also be younger <laughs> than your uh, official age, that you can be in better shape than expected. That's good news, I think, for all of us. In terms of looking at the organs or, or the brain, figure out how old we really are. If, say, the heart is tracking at 10 years older than your chronological age, is it likely that the person's other organs have also aged faster or does not work like that? Exactly, exactly what you, just like what you said. And what we find that the aging of different organ systems, they are closely linked. Uh, for example, if your heart age appears older than your chronological age, and it is very likely that your lungs, kidneys, your bones and muscles and the brain will also appear older. So what we want to say is that it is important that to keep our brain and body young, because we find advanced biological age, or what I mean, the older brain or body, will significantly increase your risk of chronic illness and premature mortality. Okay, so we can't reverse our chronological age. Is it possible to reverse our biological age? Can you get your organs back to your chronological age with some intervention, do you think? But that's certainly what we hope to do, that we'll be able to do in the future. But currently, we, we don't have we need to run clinical trials or to run some further um, analysis to, to make that come true. But at least from what we know currently is that your brain and body age um, associated with a lot of um, factors currently, like those um, genetic risk and some environmental exposure and lifestyle factors. So while, while analysis cannot draw any precise uh, causal links, but at least we see that for people who are exposed to air pollution, they experience social economic inequity uh, for people who smoke and drink a lot. They tend to have older appearing brain and body. In contrast, for people who exercise um, regularly and uh, who have high a level of education, who live in area with a lot of like grain space and natural coverage, their brain and body uh, tend to be um, younger. So as an individual, what we can do now is to, some action can be taken like to improve our lifestyles. However, those issues with air pollution and socioeconomic inequity would need some input from the government needs to be addressed um, at a, the national level. Dr. Ella Tian, some really interesting issues raised there. Really appreciate you taking us through it. So it um, might be something our viewers want to follow up with their GPs to check out how they're going individually. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.